In this video, I will show you two different methods to call another bash script within a bash script. Once you call a bash script, the execution of your current script will be paused temporarily and the code from the call script will be executed first. So let's see everything in details. In the first method, I will show you how to call and run another script in the same process. Meaning, you can call another script or a secondary process in the same running script. In this way, the variables and functions of the secondary script are accessible from the running script. At first, I will create a script named sameProcess.sh. I will use the nano command to create the script. Over here, I will edit my script. I am going to write the code first, then I will explain it. Here in the same process.sh script, I have written the shebang line at first as usual. Then I have written a commented line which states to take user prompt, it will read a number from the user and the user prompt is please enter a number. In the next line, I have written a commented line where it is written execute another script and pass that number as an argument. In the next line, I have used the source command to source the next script, which is same process1.sh and passed the number as an argument. Now I'll cr create the secondary script. Now I'll create the same process1.sh script, which is the secondary script. Here at first I'll write the shebang line. Then I'll write a commented line which will state to take another number as input. Now I will read another number from the user. Now I will do a multiplication operation between the two numbers. I will define a variable named result which will store the output of the multiplication result. Here I will use the command substitution. Inside the double parenthesis, I will write the multiplication operation. And lastly, I will print the result of multiplication. To access the variable result, I will use dollar sign. And now my secondary script is complete. So I will save using Ctrl S and exit using Ctrl X. Now it's time to execute the script. But remember to provide executive permissions for both the scripts, which I will do now. Now I will execute the initial script, which is same process.sh. It asks me to enter a number, I will enter 10 and it also asks me to enter another number. This part is executed from the secondary script. So I'll enter 20 and the result of multiplication is printed, which is 200. In the second method, I will show you how to call and run another script in different process. Meaning, I will use the bash interpreter to create another subshell or sub process to call the secondary script. Using this method, if there is an error in the first script or in any script, it doesn't affect the other script. So let's see how it works. Now I will create a script named different process 1.sh. Over here, I will edit my script. I will start with the shebang line. Now this will print the same output which I have shown in method 1 uh, like a result of multiplication.
Now following this line, I will use the bash interpreter to call a secondary script. Now I will write my second script. I will name it different process2.sh. In this script, I will do the multiplication operation and print the result. So I will start with the shebang line as usual. First it will read one number, then it will read another number. So I will use the read command. Now I will define a variable named result which will store the result of multiplication operation between the two numbers. Over here I will use command substitution. Now I will print the output of the result. To access the variable result, I will use the dollar sign. Now my script is complete, so I will save using Ctrl S and exit using Ctrl X. Now it is time to execute the script, but at first I will provide the executive permission to the first script, which is different process1.sh. I don't need to give executive permission to the second script because it is called using the bash interpreter which will open a sub shell or a sub process to execute the script. Now I will execute the first script using dot slash notation. The first line this program prints result of multiplication. This part is from the first script. Then it asks me to input a number. This is from the second script. So I will enter 10 and for another number I will enter 20. And the result of the multiplication is 200. It is correct. So that was all for today. If you want to know further, please refer to the article provided in the video description below. Thank you for watching.